want to keep pushing because we are determined to ensure that some of the very novel proposals in the BBI are not lost. And if they have to be lost, it must be known that we made our best efforts to secure them. There is the real possibility of a national crisis if some of the BBI provisions don't become, don't become law. For instance, BBI is intent on finally settling the gender question in Parliament. As we all know, Justice David Maraga, the immediate former Chief Justice, issued an advisory that Parliament is unconstitutionally constituted and will not be properly so unless the gender questions, unless the gender questions are implemented. There is also no other likely way to resolve this matter. All previous attempts have failed. It is impossible, impossible to constitute a new parliament without the solution to the gender equation. This needs urgent attention and the solution of BBI is the only viable solution in our view. We need the highest court in the land to pronounce itself on this matter. This country needs to deal ruthlessly with the scourge of corruption. The public ag agrees that corruption is a Kenya. The BBI has recommended several innovative measures to deal with the menace, including speedy prosecution and conclusion of corruption cases, stiffer penalties, aggressive recovery of stolen public resources. We believe strongly that more resources, we also believe strongly that more resources need to be devolved to the counties, all the way to the wards. We want the Supreme Court to take a stand on these matters. There is also the issue of inequality in Kenya, which traces its origins to the social and economic policies of the colonial era and the immediate post-independence period. The policies have, we have pursued over the last 50 plus years have made Kenya many countries in one. It's a fact that while a section of Kenyans have done extremely well, others have grown extremely poor over the same period. It's a fact that the country has not generated sufficient jobs and people are getting very frustrated at the lack of sufficient opportunities and absence of social protection to the poor and vulnerable. The BBI has some viable proposals on how to create an economy that works for every Kenyan. How to address taxation, how to, to strengthen agriculture, livestock and industrial sectors in rural areas to create jobs and er eradicate poverty. We want the Supreme Court to pronounce itself on this matter. This country has been consumed by election-related violence since the return of multi-party politics in the 1990s. The period to and after elections have become civil wars in which the country loses property and innocent lives because of contests for power. It is the intention of BBI to avert the election crisis in that, as that witnessed in previous elections by reforming the governance structure of the country. Again, there are no alternatives and we are about to conduct a general election in less than a year. We want to hear from the Supreme Court on this matter. There are many contradictions in both the High Court and the Court of Appeal rulings that will create confusion and legal chaos if not settled with finality. The Attorney General will detail this in his appeal. Kenyans deserve clarity on the basic structure doctrine. We feel that as it is, the judiciary has amended the Constitution of Kenya and written processes into it that Kenyans did not discuss or vote on it. It has also literally, unilaterally and mischievously deleted Chapter 16, which allows an amendment to this Constitution by a popular initiative. It is said that every great achievement was once considered impossible. This is very true of this country. Everything we enjoy today is a product of a bitter and painful struggles. Multi-party politics, the constitution of 2010, devolution, all these are products of painful struggles.